This is Twit. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. He's not just smooth. He's Wilkinson smooth. <laughs> Scott Wilkinson, home theater geek, contributor at Tech Hive, and our smooth tech home theater guru. Hello, Scott. Hey, Leo. How you doing? I am well. How are you? I'm doing good, thanks. So uh, what's up in the world of... Oh, I've got something super hip for you today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Tell me, tell I... me. <laughs> Do you think you know? Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, I went to a demo this this past week, mm -hmm. um, put on by Intel, and they were showing uh, footage from the Olympics in 8K, nice. 60 frames per second, <sighs> HDR, streamed live over the public internet. What? Mm -hmm. Now, that's one of those demos, though, where you think, well, of course, it's Intel. They've got a 10 gigabit connection. Nope. No? Huh? Nope. They were using <clears throat> open cloud service. Oh. I, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't say which one, but it was either AWS or Microsoft Azure or somebody. Google Cloud. Somebody. Or Akamai, probably. Yeah. Yeah, somebody. But... They were streaming 8K, 60 frames per second, yeah. HDR, yeah. at 100 megabits per second. No. So yes. clearly what they were showing off is some sort of fancy Dan new compression algorithm. Well, it wasn't. No, it was not it new wasn't. compression. It was HEVC, which is standard compression. They were doing it in real time. Dig this. They were compressing that file, wow. which came off the camera at 48 gigabits per second holy cow <laughs> holy cow and they were compressing it in real time on a on a very high powered computer server with four intel xeon loop de doo processors loop de doos oh nice <laughs> that's the top of the line i wish that's they would the the i right wish there. they would reduce Intel's loop de doo processors. <laughs> now with high thingamajiggy for extra <laughs> flavor. So, so, um, and what kind of screen were you looking at it on? I was looking at a 75 inch Ooh. 8K screen, a, a normal TV. They wouldn't say who made the TV, they had a piece of tape oh, covering. Yeah, because they, they're know. not giving plugs to anybody besides. Correct. Intel. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. But so, they so they they encoded it from 48 gigabits per second down to 100 megabits per second. Wow! Sent it to the open cloud. It's on the public internet, uh, and the they pointed a. We were in uh, Los Angeles at at the Skirball Cultural Center, and which which has a gigabit Ethernet connection. Okay, so they've got access fiber Ethernet to this. Yeah, but gigabit's facility. not unusual nowadays. I think not all, these uh, days. More and more Correct. homeowners. I I just got gigabit about a year ago. So right, right. Uh, that's not unheard of. But it didn't even no. need the gigabit. It only needed a hundred megabits. Well, they said what you really need is like two fifty. Yeah. To get this reliably. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, I asked him. Okay, so can I get this at home? Uh, I've got two hundred. I got two fifty anyway. I, yeah, I will soon yeah, have gigabit. Yeah. He said, "Well, there aren't. In, there isn't. Aren't any providers in the U.S. That's the that problem. Are, that yeah. are carrying it. Now he did say that Globo TV in Brazil just signed a partnership agreement, and anybody with Globo TV in Brazil can actually get this. That's this really stream. Cool. Yeah." So, so what's it, going it on? And, and Intel's showing off their Xeon processors. I mean, that's what's Correct. really going on. I'm looking at your Correct. article, by the way, at TechHive. Yes, I wrote an article at TechHive yeah, yeah. about this and uh, with all the details. And not to not to downplay the efficiency of HEVC. That's the high efficiency video codec, or uh, sometimes yep. called MPEG five. That's that is a very high quality codec. That's a massive yes. improvement. So yes, I understand that, and it's doing in, H in HDR too. Yep. Nice. They were using uh, the format of HDR called HLG, Hybrid Log Gamma. But they could also use uh, HDR10 or even Dolby Vision for that yeah, matter. Just which convert uses, it, right? Just you convert it. Take the log, a, the log file. And, and you yeah. said high frame rate, too. 60 frames per second. Holy cow. Yeah. So that's twice yeah. normal. 
Uh, and that should be nice a normal video. Yeah. yeah, for action, I think it helps, doesn't it? Uh, it helps a, a lot. Yeah. We we were looking. They showed when I was there. It was you know like four in the morning in Tokyo, so it wasn't actually live. But they were showing footage that they were converting or compressing and coding uh, in real time. Now. To put a little perspective on this, <laughs> they were using as four Intel 8380H uh, processors. That's a total of 112 cores working. Correct for the for the encode. <laughs> for the encode, yeah. I mean, there's because they had to do it in real time. If you didn't have to do it in right. real time, you you wouldn't have to be. You wouldn't so have fast. to be that powerful. Three hundred. Right. I'm reading from your article. Three hundred eighty-four mm -hmm. gigs of RAM. Mm -hmm. um, okay, that's a lot. Yeah, interestingly, it was running Ubuntu Linux, and, yeah. and it's running on uh, Optane SSDs, which are the fastest solid-state disks ever. So that's so at really the encoding end, end, they were they were very high end. But yeah. look at the decode end. The the, the end that, that was at the Skirball Center was, I think, a, a more normal kind of computer. It was a single Xeon processor. What's funny is uh, they're doing it via Wi-Fi, which blows me away. Couldn't you? I couldn't believe yeah. that. Yeah, Windows 10 PC on using Wi-Fi 6E, which is the newest uh, version of yep. Wi-Fi. Yep. Uh, and then they had a pretty hefty PC. This was a 18-core Xeon with 64 gigs of RAM. Yep. But uh, still, all of this stuff is, you know, and it's a 3080 uh, RTX. So all of this stuff is, you know, state-of-the-art, but not out of reach not insane no. correct correct it was a technology demo to show hey this is this is happening now we can do this now it's it it's must going have looked to become amazing a, it was amazing what event it were looked, you watching well they saw we, we had clips from several different things we had the 100 meter men's 100 meter sprint we had the men's and women's 50 meter uh, freestyle swimming so the reason uh, i ask some... is 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 uh, something like the sprint there's a lot of motion yes and that's uh, that would be blurred oh, and most sharp streams. as attack oh that's sharp really cool. as attack oh, oh did you man, feel like you were looked... there like you were yeah looking yeah. at it through a window yeah yeah absolutely and the the h uh, the hdr was actually pretty good too uh the you know, there's hardly anybody in the stands, you know, which is really kind of weird. Know, but yeah, um, so the the in the running arena, there was um, light on the lower portions of the stands and not much light on the upper portions. And yet you could still see all the seats in the upper portions, the darkened portions of the stands. Um, and when there's a picture, I have a picture in there in that article where there's an inset of a recap footage of the guys running. And in the in my picture, it looks blown out. It did not look blown out on that screen. Interesting. It's just the limitation of my camera. <laughs> so <laughs> the screen did a better job than your camera did. Whoops. Correct. Log correct. The computer there. Boy, man, when the and the swimming, you know, when they're when they're uh, splashing the water and the little water droplets. I mean, oh, they're all crystal man. clear, crystal man. clear. So it, it um, was really impressive. Now I, I have to say this: the Olympics is seems like every four years seems to be a product showcase. It was last year was the product showcase for 4K, mm -hmm. uh, and clearly this now year it's, it's for 8K. And mm -hmm. 4K now I've been watching the Olympics in 4K HDR on YouTube TV, mm -hmm. and it's great. So yeah, it's not impossible but it's to not think 60 that, hertz. No. no, no, no. I'm just saying it's not impossible to think that in three years at the next Olympics, mm -hmm. it might be. 60 hertz, 8K. It, it might very well be. It might very well be. Because you can buy an 8K TV now, no problem. There's Amazing. bunches of them. Amazing. <laughs> Read about it. Scott's articles at techhive.com. And he joins us every week to talk home theater. Thank you, Scott. That was smooth. My pleasure. Smooth. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike Heiss is saying it's sort of the same as a, as a gaming PC and I would say yes um, it is 18 the cores end, the decoder. Yeah, yeah the decoder 18 core Xeon but 64 gigs of RAM is not unheard of so mm -hmm. um, you know I and a, and a 3080 I have a similar computer not quite so many cores I probably I, it's really interesting did you hear a fan on the PC I did not but it was you know it was in a room there were people there yeah 
I yeah, wasn't right up. What I would have done is w- walked over to the stand next to the PC. <laughs> and mm. say, Let me I hear the, done that. Let me yeah, you know that, that fan. Yeah, man. I mean that's going to be the issue, uh, and Intel's not going to want you to do that because that's going to be the issue, uh, with right? That, with that Xeon, I think. You know, that's a good point. That's a good point. I didn't. I didn't even think about it. Um, they did not want us walking around behind the TV to discover what brand of TV it was. Oh, that's not important, really. I, I know, I know. Yeah. It's a 75 inch, undoubtedly an LCD, fauled, yeah. um, you yeah. know, TV from, yeah. from one of the, they said it's from one of the big makers. So it's yeah. either Sony or Samsung. Yeah. How much are 8K TVs now? Oh, um, a 75 inch, probably. Three thousand dollars. Oh, that's not bad. It's not bad. Really? You're four. kidding me. Yeah. No. So really, the issue isn't a TV at this point. No. The it's issue not. is really uh, is the, the, content the content creator coding. and provider. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's will the content creators and providers yeah produce 8K, create right. 8K HDR, right. 60 frames second. They're not uh, actually content. producing 4K, right? They're upscaling 1080 or... No. In, in the Olympics, that's correct. Yeah. That's correct. So we still got a ways to go there. Yeah, yeah. The cameras are certainly there. The TVs are certainly there. The computers are now there. It's a high-end computer, admittedly. Scooter X has uh, uh, found the Sony Z8H for for uh, 4000 75 4, inch, yeah. Okay. At best there you buy. go, 4,000 bucks. Powered by the X1 Ultimate processor, which is not nearly enough horsepower to do this. That's the thing. Well, no, no, yeah, yeah. The you decoder yeah. is a $5,000 PC. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, you wouldn't want to uh, stream it from one of the TV's internal apps. No, you couldn't. That wouldn't work. No. You couldn't. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't, or a Roku or Apple TV. I mean, seriously... Uh, the computer I have that's quite not quite as many cores as that one was fi- uh-huh. almost five thousand dollars. So uh-huh. this is not cheap. This is not cheap. No, no. But it's not inaccessible either. Yeah, and it, and the point is over. And it's time, only going to get better o- over yeah, time. It's only it going to get yeah. yeah yeah exactly. The whole point of this demo was as you know a, a demonstration that look we can do this right, and it's getting very close to the point where. Consumers will be able to do it too. It's getting to the point where <laughs> consumers can do it too. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh Lord! Oh, can you stick around for the top of the hour? Uh huh. Sure can. Do you get tempted when you go to the Skirball Center to call it the Screwball Center? Is it just me? No, I, I know I never do. No, I'm tempted. Now you've planted that seed in my I'm mind. I'm sorry. Oh, I never even sorry. thought about it. You oh, never even thought man. about it. I never did. You're just used to it. You Angelinos. It. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a normal part yeah. of stuff here. Yeah.